Hi everyone, this is Ella's teacher. Okay, today we are going to go over chapter 7 to 12 uh, review. I know it's review, but I figured that some of you guys could understand the story after chapter 9 or 10-ish. Uh, so, please make sure um, you understand the story this time. Okay, let's go. Summary for chapter 7. At 6 p.m., the hungry and tired farmers stopped the digging machines. They were still stubborn about not giving up until they caught Mr. Fox, though. They decided that instead of digging him out, they would starve him out by keeping constant watch of the hole. The farmers sent word down to their respective farms for tents sleeping bags and food. Uh, they didn't give up, right? The far three farmers, they didn't give up. They decided to wait outside of the hole so they can either catch the fox and kill him or um, make the fox and the fox's family starve to death. Okay. Chapter 8 is the foxes begin to starve. So... Uh, by the title, by the subject, we can assume that the foxes are starting to be starved. Soon, the farmers were set up outside of the giant hole. The, uh, they each had a tent set up and sat outside of it, eating large, delicious dinners. Down in the hole, the hungry foxes could smell the food. The small foxes wanted to crawl up and steal some, but it was too dangerous. After dinner, the farmers decided that they would take shifts uh, watching the hole while the others slept. They realized that the foxes could dig themselves out somewhere else, and they called the workers on their farms to surround the hill on all sides with guns and flashlights. The next morning, all of the farmers came out of their tents again and sat near the hole with their guns. Mr. Fox checked to see if they were still there, and but, but every time that he checked, he could still smell them. So three farmers, they are guarding the hole, and uh, moreover, they call their workers to watch the foxes over, right? And meanwhile, the foxes, uh, the fox family, they were... They were very, very hungry down there, but because of the three farmers, they were eating outside, the delicious dinner outside. They could smell the food, but they couldn't eat anything, right? Uh, this is what's happening here, chapter 8 and chapter 9. Mr. Fox has a plan. This went on for three days and nights. Uh, the foxes grew weaker without any food or water. Mr. Fox had another idea and told his children to start digging with them. They left Mrs. Fox behind because she was too weak to dig. So the Fox family, they couldn't eat or they couldn't drink for three days. Um, now they're really, really weak. And uh, Father Fox, so fantastic Mr. Fox and children started to dig. Because that's Mr. Fox's idea. We don't know what's Mr. Fo what what Mr. Fox's uh, idea is yet, but uh, the mother, the wife, Mrs. Fox, is too weak to dig, so she has to stay at home. Chapter Chapter Ten, Buggy's Chicken House Number One. Mr. Fox told his children to dig in a certain direction but wouldn't tell them where they're going in case the plan didn't work, and they were disappointed. Uh, they here is the children. They dug and dug until Mr. Fox told them to start digging upwards. Then he stopped them entirely and pushed up on the ground above them. He pushed up a wooden plank and, he, and the small foxes realized that the plan had worked. They were in Boogie's chicken house. The foxes ran to drink water from the chicken's water. Uh, truth. And then Mr. Fox picked three hands and killed them quickly. 
They climbed back into the hole, and Mr. Fox sent one of the small foxes back to Mrs. Fox with the chickens. Chapter 11 Mrs. Fox was resting where Mr. Fox and the small foxes left her. When the small fox arrived with the hens, Mrs. Fox thought she was dreaming. The small fox convinced her that she is not dreaming, though, and told her about Mr. Fox's plan. She was excited and began to plan a feast. Meanwhile, Mr. Fox instructed the three remaining small foxes to keep digging. Chapter 12 Badger Mr. Fox and three small foxes kept digging, energized by thoughts of the feast that would await them. Suddenly, they heard a voice ask, who goes there? However, it was just Badger, one of Mr. Fox's friends. Badger told Mr. Fox that ever since the three farmers sticked out the whole area waiting for him, none of the other boring animals have been able to hunt, and they were all starting to starve. Mr. Fox quickly promised that Badger's family and all, and all the other families affected by the farmers were invited to the feast tonight. Mr. Fox filled Badger in on the plan to steal the food for the fish from the farmers and Badger's child, small Badger, ran off to tell everyone. Okay, this is pretty much the story summaries of uh, chapter 7 to chapter 12. Uh, what happened here is that three farmers, they didn't give up, right? They uh sat outside of the hole and they waited with the guns to kill mr fox and mr fox and their family they uh at, the, at first they waited until the farmers are uh the farmers uh, farmers are gone but they didn't live so mr fox uh came up with another idea which is digging a hole but he didn't tell what the idea was until his plan uh, was succeeded. And the plan was uh, to go to uh, one of farmer's house and eat the chicken. And later on, um, they succeeded their plan. So they invited all the animals who, who was starved because of three farmers uh to the fist this is pretty much the story of chapter 7 to 12 and analysis first mr fox just told children to dig the hole and didn't tell where they're going because he says that they will get too excited by hearing it and might be extremely disappointed if the plan uh didn't work right but the plan was succeeded in the end, and it chooses to keep information from his children at a time. Not everything at once, but he told his children the plan one by one, time to time. So when they have been starving and could be entering a dangerous situation. By showing the small fox's accept acceptance of this, the writer demonstrates his belief about the structure of power and information in the relationship between parents and children. And then the second one is, while there is a clear irony in the foxes stealing food from the farmers while they wait for them to starve, there is a secondary irony in Mr. Fox's hypocritical behavior toward other animals. Though he seems to hate the farmers for hunting him, and though he later compares himself to them by saying he is not trying to kill them, he has no problem killing chickens from Bog's chicken house, right? So this is our, this is the irony. Uh, farmers try to kill the kill Mr. Fox, and Mr. Fox is like, no, I don't like it. They try to kill me, but at the same time, Mr. Fox is trying to kill uh, the chickens, right? So this is the irony of uh, the, those chapters today uh, that we learned today. So, uh, those are pretty much the everything that we uh, have to study today. Again, compare your summaries to mine. And if there's something you misunderstood about the story, please rewrite them uh, down. 
And if you want to add more information or details, please write them down uh, too. And today, you guys are going to do the CQ for chapter 7 to 12. I know some of you guys already finished it, but again, if your CQ uh, answers are wrong, or if you want to add more, then add more. Tomorrow, we're going to go over chapter 13 to 15. And this Friday, we're going to go over all the CQs together. And uh, I haven't received any of your discussion homework. So I have to look at your discussion homework so we can discuss it together tomorrow uh, together. So I'm gonna we're gonna do the discussion tomorrow, okay? So please send me the discussion homework about the pros and cons. And uh okay, please finish your homework, send me the homework, and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.